How's it going, everybody? Hope you like that new intro. That was something I was working on over the weekend, and I'm hoping to use that a bit more um, later on the road, but... Anywho, let's get into it. So, last week, the Game Awards drop happened, and we got to see live-action Sonic, finally, along with Tails, and of course... Knuckles! Now, I would talk more about this, but something else caught my interest that I have to talk about. So, just about an hour ago, a live-action Mega Man is now in the works over at Netflix. So, it's a short statement on IGN saying, Mega Man will soon be coming to Netflix in a live-action adaptation of the classic Capcom video game. IGN has learned from sources familiar with the project that the Mega Man film is still very early in development. However, it looks as though the streaming giant will bring Mega Man to our screens. Now, <laughs> I'd be I I'd, I'd be very excited because we we're, we're we're getting Mega Man on the big screen. We just had Sonic, Pikachu, and we're getting Mario in 2022 in in the cinemas. So why isn't everyone hyped, huh? Where's the excitement? Well, there's two problems. The first problem being Netflix. Now, right now. I don't think anyone's trusting Netflix after what they've done with Cowboy Bebop. So if you didn't know, there was a recent live-action anime adaptation with Cowboy Bebop that did <laughs> that did not, not do well. I showed you a, a few examples of how bad it was, but I don't know the territory for it on YouTube, so I'm not risking it. But there's two clips you can look up. One with um, a bit of dialogue of how bad it was, and one scene where they introduce Ed and... <laughs> and Netflix isn't even done making anime adaptations. There's still a Yu Yu Hakusho on the way, and a One Piece adaptation, and so those are probably gonna flop, unless there's like better writing and way more effort being put in there. Now, for the other reason, it's Capcom. So, recently, we had the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City movie come out, and the scores do look okay on, like, the audience score, but for the tomato score, it doesn't seem as pleasing. And for me, it, di I didn't, it didn't seem as good as I thought, just from, like, uh, in outside perspective, I I still need to see it before I'm sure of how good it was. I do plan on seeing it though. But from what I've heard from a lot of big names, it didn't come out as good. Now this one I'm actually surprised by by the score, cause if you look at the Monster Hunter one, and this came out last year, cause I didn't even know this dropped, cause it it dropped two days before my birthday, two days on the 18th. And it looked like people were happy with the score, especially since when I first saw the trailer, it was just a bunch of military guys fighting monsters, which didn't really follow the story of Monster Hunter as much until they went to another dimension. Brings me also to another topic. Why is there always some military in any video game movie? You'll, you'll always see this military group gathering together figuring out what to do against this threat or whatever because there was one in the, Mon the monster hunter movie there was one in the sonic movie there was someone one in the mortal kombat one there was also another one in let me see here in the, sh the street fighter movie <laughs> at some point in a video game movie you're going to find at least one military scene i, I don't know why now that i've established those two key elements. Let me tell you about how I feel this movie should work. Now, for setting, for where the story should like take place, I don't think they necessarily need to do a full-on futuristic city or year. Like, the year's supposed to be 20XX. I don't think they have to fully adapt that. I, I, they can simply do have it take place in a average city like New York, Seattle, Chicago, and I feel like it could work 
for a setting. They just need the right background for Dr. Wily and Dr. Light with Wily being jealous of Dr. Light's work and him stealing the five robot masters, Cut Man, Bomb Man, Ice Man, Fire Man, and Guts Man. And, those can, and that can be easily be written in. As well as the origin for Mega Man from, from being Rockman and to helping Dr. Light save the world and becoming Mega Man. Uh, I think those areas can be easily adapted. But there's one other thing I think a lot of people will be afraid of. And that's Mega Man's design. Now, I'm pretty sure no one wants a Mega Man to just be a guy in a Mega Man costume. Because that's what everyone's afraid of. They do not want to see Boxstar Mega Man. Because this is what Boxstar Mega Man is. No one really wants to see this pudgy guy adapting the super bombing robot. Now, going back to this, this is actually a live animation fan film that's only made back in 2012. It's still on YouTube, it's just titled Mega Man Fan Film, it's by Blue Core Studios. And it has like 3.5 million views. So I, I'd say check that out, because I, I, I really enjoyed it. It was fun when I watched it a few years ago. Now you might be asking, but George Game, if we don't have a live version of Mega Man, how are we supposed to have him in the movie? Well, that's simple. We make him full CGI. If Mega Man were to be full on CGI than just a random guy in a costume as Mega Man, I think it could fully work. No problems whatsoever. Obviously, we just had the Sonic movie and the Detective Pikachu movie. And look how both of these look so adorable on screen, it actually works. Now, let's look at that with Mega Man. I was trying to dig through finding a good CGI image, but this was the closest thing I could find. But look at it anyway, look how good it looks full on CGI. Now, let's look at him if he were just a guy in a costume. Yeah. Yeah, tell me, does this work? Or does this work? Actually, now that I think about it, maybe this- Of course this wouldn't work! <laughs> Look at him! But, yeah, it's still- They still said it's in development, so we have a bit of time before we all throw up in, when we see Mega Man in live action, so we'll have to see how this goes. I, I have hope for it after the other video game movies outside of the uh, the Netflix movies. I, th I think this could turn out. I think Netflix can't get this one wrong. If they don't, then they should really stop making live adaptations after this. But that is going to do it for this video. This was a bit of a quick one. I wanted to give my thoughts about this since we're, we're getting a lot of video game movies now there is a lot of hope for them now so we're going to see how this one goes but yeah we are 6,000 away from 40k I'm hoping we can be make it by by the end of 2021 so we're going to see that get everyone to sub thank you for watching and I shall see y'all in the next one